Listen up. Our scouts have finally discovered the Queen's location. We're sending you in under orders to track down and destroy any lost in the area. Destroy the lost? But how? We haven't even finished our training yet. You'll learn in the field, Revenant. Protect your heart and you will never die. Your sacrifice will help open a path to the future. Those hellish days went on and on, stealing to survive. To us, it was only natural. I was ordered to take blood beads from other kids, ones that were just like me. As long as they could get beads, they would live. Survival was more bead to bead than day to day. That was when Louis came along and reached out to me. No one had ever done that for me before. someone that I never should have forgotten. It's hard to believe that I could let something so important just slip away. Sorry, I don't mean to bother you, but there may be other memories of mine scattered around. If there are, I'd like to get them back. I may discover things that are painful to confront, but I made a decision to face my past head on. That's how our world is. I'm sure you've seen it yourself. There's no shortage of people who will exploit others to make their own lives easier. I have crossed blades with their miserable sword on more than one occasion, while I was researching the blood beads. It was a small thing, but I was certain that it would do some good. Louis, Louis, why do you why keep, do you bringing, keep bringing blood beads, beads to some, to some random, random kid, kid like, like me? me? There isn't there really isn't a particular, particular reason, reason, but if I had to I give, give one, one, I'd say it's, say it's because, because you were alive when I met you. you. That's... That's... Don't keep, don't keep risking, risking your life for me, Louis. Louis. You, can't. you can't. You don't need to worry about me, really. Focus on keeping yourself alive and well. Louis... Louis kept bringing me blood beads, which spared me from the constant struggle other revenants faced over them. There was no fear of being turned to ash or becoming one of the lost. I had blood beads, and that meant I had peace for myself. It was all mine. But was that really okay? Shortage must be hitting you too. Here, take them. They're yours. Don't worry about me. Being the only survivor would be boring anyway. And, you know, we rely on each other to survive, right? That's what people do. that crazy kid that's been passing out blood beads, aren't you? 
Maybe. What if I am? If you've got so many lying around, then how about you pass some along to us? After all, we've been hurting since one of our kids turned lost. I don't have that many. Even if I did, I wouldn't give a single beat to bastards like you. You stupid punk. In that case, we'll just take it by force. sharing the blood beads I gave him with some of the other revenants. He wasn't stupid. He had to have known what would happen if he did something like that. Hey, hey you, you! Give me all give me your all blood your beads! Blood beads. If you don't, you're gonna get hurt. Look at me, being threatened by a little boy. I must be letting my image slip. I'm not a little boy! Now hurry up and hand him over, lady! Ow! That hurt! What did I say? You're just a little boy. Still, Still, I have, I have to, to admire, admire your guts. guts. <laughs> Go on. Do what you want. I'll end up dead anyway if I don't bring those blood beads back. Why? Is someone, Is someone making, making you collect, collect the beads, beads for them? What's it to What's you? It to you? you plan, plan on giving alms to a poor, miserable, miserable thrall. I'm not, I'm not giving you anything. anything. You'll have, You'll to, have make to make, make your, your own way, way in the world. world. What I can, what I can do, do is offer you a job. job. I, need I need someone, someone to scout, to scout out, out the place marked on this map. map. Think you Think can handle, handle that? that? The map led me to a fully laden blood spring, tucked neatly out of sight. It was so well hidden that I never could have found it on my own. She'd sent me to the trove alone and unsupervised, so she couldn't very well complain when I took every last blood bead. After all, who am I to turn down an offer like that? I doubt I'll ever see her again anyway. Whoa, what was that? Talk about your unexpected trips down memory lane. Stop that. I do what I want to do, and that's all there is to it. Most revenants have lost the majority of their memories. I guess I'm something of an oddity in that respect. I've still got almost all of them. And the things I want to forget aren't going anywhere. <laughs> Lucky me, right? Looks like you have the ability to restore people's memories. If you happen to find anything related to me, be sure to let me know, okay? I'll make it worth your while. There could be something out there that I've forgotten. And if that's the case, I want to see what it is. So the kid found the blood spring after all, hmm? Maybe I did, and maybe I didn't. Everyone was... Each time I've learned something new about our world, or the state of those living in it, my feelings of guilt pierced me even deeper. Starving revenants fighting each other for a handful of blood beads, and the rank
ranks of the lost, swelling with each successive conflict. I spend my restless days in battle, trying to keep my head above water. Only when I'm engaged in the rush of combat can I close my eyes to the gravity of what I've done. Are, are you helping me? These blood beads. Those men lying over there ordered you to find them, right? Well, now you can keep them. Far too many people keep revenants as thralls these days. Stay safe. Watch, Watch yourselves out there. Uh, um, um, my name, my is, name Kevin. is Kevin. I could, I could give, give you a hand, hand with, with whatever. whatever. I'll, see, I'll you. see you. Here's, Here's what, what I was, I was able, able to bring. bring. It's, it's not, not much, much, but I hope it helps. Thank you, Thank you so, so much. much. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I wish there was some way I could repay you. I do this because I want to. Don't worry about me, all right? Tell me if I can help with something. I'll do whatever I can for you. Back then, I had no idea what would happen. As Operation Queenslayer dragged on with no foreseeable end, even children were turned into revenants and sent out to fight. And then, when it was over, both the strong and the weak were ravaged by bloodthirst. But with resources thin, they had nowhere to turn. I wanted to do something, to do anything to help. That's honestly all there was to it. It never occurred to me that my actions could lead to such tragedy. Kevin was a boy who had been enslaved by a group of merciless revenants. Over time, stopping by to give him blood beads became something of a routine. But one day, that pattern was broken. When I went to see him, he was nowhere to be found, and his dwelling had been torn apart. I heard everything from someone who said they knew Kevin. A few days earlier, a revenant had attacked him and turned him to ash. The attacker was after the blood beads I had given Kevin. save him just by giving him blood beads, that it would be enough. But I lacked true commitment to his survival. And in the end, that's what killed him. I appreciate your kindness, but it's unnecessary. It is what it is. I won't let myself forget again. truly alive. It was because of you. Thanks to you, Louis. I wonder if I was able to become even a little bit like you. Goodbye. That 
was... Kevin, you... You wanted to... Yeah. I believe you need a real sense of dedication before you can truly say you've saved someone. It's just self-deception to feel like you've helped after giving no more than handouts. But at the same time, I'd be a coward if I only sat back and watched while doing nothing. Even if I'm deceiving myself, I have to keep fighting. And if I fail to help, I'll face up to what I've done. But I also won't let that stop me from trying to help others. That's what I've decided. I couldn't save Cruz. Even when she begged for my help, I wasn't strong enough to do what was necessary. Now, this is all I can do for her. And the world. It doesn't change what happened. Or the fact that I'm responsible for Kevin's death. However, I appreciate you sharing his memories with me. Thank you.